Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for May 21st, 2021. So we had a nice little relief rally yesterday, and now they're trying to push it through to the upside again this morning, but we have some resistance above. So what does that mean for us today? Well, how about we settle in, buckle up, and let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone. I apologize, this video is going to be late today. I've recorded this once before, had a failure in the recording system, and have to record it a second time. So I apologize, it'll be later than normal um, today. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. Let's um, first looking here at the Dow. You can see that we had a nice little rally yesterday pushing on up and we're trying to push just a little bit higher this morning. But one of the things we want to pay attention to, we want to keep our eyes closely focused on the resistance levels above. So as we try to break out of that downtrend and and we're trying to push through this resistance level, keep in mind that we have moved up significantly over the last couple of days. And what that means is that we run the risk if the bears are entrenched up here and provide some defense that we could have that possibility that we fail here. And we've seen that kind of action lately where we push up into some resistance and then those bears attack. So you wanna be a little bit careful, keep your eyes wide open this morning about chasing into this move. Watch carefully um, to make sure we don't end up um, seeing another pullback in the market. Um, just stay focused. I'm not suggesting that's going to happen and I'm not trying to um, say that the market is bearish. I'm just suggesting you want to watch that pretty closely. Let's take a look at the SPY. Now SPY, very similar situation. I'm going to get rid of all of these lines that I've drawn on the chart. Notice that we've got this little higher low in here. Um, kind of a double bottom, I should say, in that chart and we've pushed up. Now let's notice that right there yesterday, we were struggling with that trend and we were struggling with this price resistance level in the chart. So let's keep in mind on the SPY, we have a very, very um, um, strong resistance level in price action up here. And the question is going to be, can we push through? Now, Big Tech yesterday had a nice little rally up and that Big Tech was trying to help a lot. And remember about 40% of the SPY, 40% um, of the SPY's weight is encompassed in seven companies. And those were all trying to push up yesterday, but not exactly uh, bullish patterns overall in those charts. So keep that in mind as we push up that resistance level, we're gonna wanna watch that pretty carefully. We might be able to find enough bullish feelings and bullish energy to push right on through that, but don't rule out the possibility of that pop and drop, and we've seen that right in here, or that failure that can occur right there at that price resistance level. So watch that pretty closely. Then let's take a look at the Qs. Now the QQQ, as I mentioned, we had a pretty good rally yesterday with a lot of support in those big techs. And we'll take a look at those big techs here in just a second and show it wasn't quite as lovely as it's showing here in this chart. So QQQ pushing up, breaking its downtrend, and the good news is, is it did break above its 50-day moving average. But let's keep in mind that breaking through the 50-day moving average is one thing, proving to hold it as support is another. Here's an example over here where we push through and we're unable to hold that as support. So remember, as we push through these levels in these resistance levels, we need to make sure that we're going to hold, not just push through and then fail. We've got so much volatility in this market, just bouncing through doesn't necessarily mean anything. We could really drift lower um, after that occurs. So watch that carefully. And then keep in mind, we did have a good sign yesterday in breaking through this level of price resistance, but our bigger price resistance level is still up here and we're going to be potentially challenged by that price resistance as we move on through. So keep that in mind. If we, if the bears find some reason to gain a little ground today, this could be an ugly, 
um, ugly pattern if that were to fail there. So watch that close. Um, let's take a look at some of those big techs when, that push this up. If we take a look at Microsoft, Microsoft, nice move up yesterday, not exactly a bullish chart. Apple, nice move up yesterday, not exactly a bullish chart. If we take a look at Netflix, nice move up yesterday, not exactly a bullish chart. How about Tesla? Nice move up, not exactly a bullish chart. We do have some bullishness that showed up in um, Facebook, however. Facebook breaking through, looking a little bit stronger, and Google. But when we start looking at some of those big techs, um, it was a nice little relief rally, but we're pushing right back into resistance levels on many of those charts and um, not what you would really be looking for as a buy area. But that helped the NASDAQ quite a bit yesterday. So keep that in mind. We've got a lot of work yet to do to really resolve some of these questions in this chart. And then let's take a look at IWM. Now IWM is still below its 50 day moving average and although it, it tried yesterday uh, to uh, push on up, we weren't able to break through that downtrend. And we're testing that downtrend here this morning with the pre-market activity. But let's keep in mind, we failed here just four days ago. I mean within two ticks. Um, we push through that 50-day moving average. Notice that 50-day moving average has started to turn lower here, and all of our shorter-term averages have moved lower. That puts a resistance level in this chart right in here that we're going to have to beat. So watch that carefully. That's going to be a test of those bulls. Do they have enough energy to push on through there, or will there be um, an entrenched defense uh, by the bears on that IWM chart? Watch that close. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now the VIX is one of those things that we really should be keeping an eye on here because we still have some questions here to be answered. The VIX ended up holding above a 20 handle yesterday and holding above that downtrend break. Notice we have this little upside trend and we're holding above this price support area in the VIX. We're also holding up above the 50 day moving average on the VIX. So there's still some questions here. Now what I want to what I want to um, talk about here this morning is just the fact that the volatility being so high, we have to really keep in mind and be go in with our eyes wide open. That possibility that those intraday reversals, whipsaws, pop and drops, things like that are very possible. So even though we're having this really bullish look this morning um, in the pre-market, keep in mind that we could have those reversals. So make sure you're careful about chasing into resistance levels and watch that closely. If we can get some calming in here, that would be wonderful. If we can actually get that follow through today, that would be wonderful and start breaking this VIX down. That's what we need to see. But for now, there's reason for caution out there. So watch that pretty carefully. Let's take a look at our T2122. Our T2122 indicator is just an awesome indicator when we're in um, oversold or overbought conditions. But today, that's not the case. Today, we're kind of right here in the middle of the road. In that middle of the road area, T2122 doesn't tell us much. It just gives us that idea that we certainly have upside opportunity if the bulls can find some energy. And we have downside room to move if the bull bears find some energy. So keep that in mind. We're just kind of sitting there in the middle of the road. Um, not a whole lot of um, great directional signals here in that T2122. How about T2101? I got to tell you guys, this continues to bother me. And maybe it shouldn't, but it does. In that big surge move up yesterday, I want you to notice that the market breadth actually pulled back. We did not get market breadth coming in with that big relief rally surge. Kind of an interesting situation. And overall, our market breadth continues to decline. It continues to suffer. That's not something that we would typically be seeing in a market that's trying to just be bullish, bullish, bullish all the time. So watch that carefully. It may not be of a concern to you. It is to me. And it's something that I am watching pretty closely. We need to see that breadth really coming up if we're going to be pushing higher. 
um, and so far just not so much so uh, keep a close eye on that let's take a look at our economic calendar for today and our economic calendar has got a couple things we want to pay attention to um, let's take a look at that as you can see in here we've got PMI this morning that will come out at 945 and existing home sales both of those have the potential for moving the market we'll want to watch those pretty closely and I think probably the one that may have the most weight today we'll want to keep an eye on those existing home sales we've seen home sales starting to falter maybe just a little bit um, and that's just because of the high prices um, as we um, that buying frenzy has pushed those prices so high so watch that closely if, if existing home sales were to miss that might be um, um, that could affect the market today so watch that close let's take a look at our earnings calendar now our earnings calendar kind of a light day today with not a whole lot on it and I'm gonna go through this really fast because I'm re-recording this today but um, let's keep a, a, an eye on some of these notables take a look at John Deere um, John Deere pushing up this morning a little bit of a pop and drop in that pre-market activity on its earnings report coming right into that price resistance and we have this downtrend here so we have a little bit of that double whammy resistance area right up in this area that we'll have to watch pretty closely John Deere not looking so healthy just right at the moment we'll see if those earnings can help it or if they actually hurt here so watch that closely on Deere take a look at BKE BKE reporting today nice bullish move here this morning got some resistance here in that chart a little bit of a lower high right there trying to deal with and we've got that downtrend break once again we're kind of creating that little double whammy of resistance right there Let's see if those earnings can push us on through there or if we happen to catch a failure at that point how about buckle the bke whoops BAH, sorry, that's I, where I did buckle. I wanted to look at BAH. BAH, um, we have this little downtrend in play, and you can see a little bit of a pop and drop this morning on that earnings report. Um, if we can push on through that level, you notice we've got higher lows, so push on through there, hold that as support. We may have some upside opportunity, so watch um, BAH. Um, could be an interesting chart. We also have Foot Locker this morning. Foot Locker trying to move on up here just slightly. Um, watch that carefully. Some price resistance and notice that if we were to draw that trend, we also have that little bit of a double whammy of resistance right in there. Whether or not it can push through or not, watch that closely. And uh, last but not least, um, VHC is reporting today this has been in an ugly downtrend and you can see it's trying to break that to the upside so pushing through trying to hold that area as support buyers trying to step up this might be um, um, a nice little entry point with a little higher low here so watch that close so there's a few of those for you to be uh, taking a look at today on that earnings calendar let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that guys if you could do me a quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos and then also if you feel that the video was worthy please click that uh, thumbs up button and leave a brief comment I just want to say thank you to everyone um, who has been doing that you know recently we've seen some nice growth in the channel and really um, I, I am truly humbled by that um, thank you so much and I, I never would have expected there would be um, this much support for content like this without all the hype and prediction that you see in other places where we're really looking at the technicals of the chart and I just want to say thank you so much uh, for everyone and if you want to continue to help do that just make sure and uh, leave those comments I've been answering those as, as as often as I can and as a matter of fact I'm answering most of them anymore and then also if you could um, make sure um, and um, share this video on your social feeds that helps a lot as well so thank you everyone for that I truly truly appreciate it
Let's take a look at some stocks setting up. And before we do that, I want to make sure and remind everyone they are not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. Um, everyone needs to do their own due diligence, understand the risk of the trade, and you should never ever blindly follow anyone's trading ideas. Let's take a look at some stocks. There were some really good moves in um, drug makers yesterday and healthcare. Take a look at UNH. I'm watching UNH in here. Set a price alert on that chart, looking to see if that can push on through and continue to extend this beautiful upside trend here. Now, I know it's kind of an expensive stock, but it is looking pretty bullish here in that chart. So watching that one closely. Um, take a look at stocks like um, MRK. Merck did a really good job yesterday. Little hammer, little follow through, holding up in here. We're holding on to some support in that chart, trying to push on through. Uh, BMY, Bristol Myers had a really bullish day yesterday, pushing up strongly. It stopped, just dead stopped, right there at a major resistance level. But watch that carefully. If that can push on through, or hold up in this area, uh, BMY might get a multi-year breakout and start looking very, very bullish. So keep an eye on that. You might want to take a look at stocks like J&J. J&J, there's that hammer follow through candle trying to push through and break out. Very nice chart. Pfizer, Pfizer, as you can see, I've got this alerted again in the chart that's looking very bullish and that possibility that could push on through to the upside. So keep an eye on some of those um, drug makers, healthcare type stocks, they are looking very, very strong. Another place that you really, I think, want to take a look is in the consumer defensive and consumer staples area of the market. Take a look at KHC. KHC, beautiful chart. You can see been moving up in a trend, um, right way options. We have traded this, made really nice money on it, and it is setting up again for potentially more upside. Take a look at this great bottom formation that this has formed in here, breaking through some resistance and holding it as support. KC looks like it has some upside potential, so keep a close eye on that chart. Um, I did pick up MDLZ, so in here I've got a little bias on this chart, so make note of that. Um, MDLZ, nice little move yesterday, pushing up. Again, consumer defensives um, starting to show some really nice signs. And I have to think that what we might be seeing is a little bit of a rotation in here as the market gets a little bit shaky as we head into summer, which is typically kind of a light or even bearish um, period of the market, you can see um, we might be moving toward that little bit of safety here in um, these charts. So MDLZ looking very, very good. You might also want to take a look at um, um, other stocks like Coke. Coke trying to break through some resistance up here. We've got Colgate Palmolive in a beautiful upside trend trying to break through some resistance in that chart. We have PepsiCo. PepsiCo looking good, trying to pop through some resistance here. So we've got a lot of these um, defensive sector stocks looking pretty darn strong, looking healthy overall. Take a look at Tyson. Tyson is in that defensive sector. Nice little bullish move yesterday, trying to extend on higher. I would put that one on a list. And HRL Hormel had a huge move yesterday on its earnings report. Any rest or pullback in here could set up an opportunity in Hormel. Very nice looking chart. If you want to pick up a basket, of those trades. Take a look at the ETF XLP. XLP is going to incorporate a lot of those consumer defensive and staple stocks and um, you can pick up a basket of those. This pays dividends as well. Watch that in here looking very bullish and by the way I added to this trade yesterday so I have a little bias in it but kind of keep that in mind it's looking pretty good um, overall in XLP. Last place that I think um, probably should be keeping an eye on take a look at this chart in silver. Silver is setting up for that next upside move in this trend looking very very good. Um, Please keep in mind, we could rest here a little bit longer just because of that price resistance in the chart. But as you can see, silver's been gaining some ground and we also saw 
some really strong moves in gold and gold is continuing to follow through after breaking this resistance in the chart. So watch that carefully. I wouldn't rule out the possibility of a rest in here, consolidation or even a little pullback, but keep an eye on gold for that next potential entry. It's looking pretty darn good here. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day and I want to wish you a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Thanks for watching. I truly appreciate it. Thanks for clicking those thumbs up buttons and leaving those comments. I really, really want to thank everyone for taking the time to do that. Take care. Have an awesome weekend and we'll see you right back here bright and early. Tuesday morning, excuse me, Monday morning. <laughs> Have a great weekend.